Hi there. Welcome to the Center for Online and Distance Learning's online learning template. If you're here, that probably means you're getting ready to develop an online course at KU, or you have a natural curiosity about online learning templates. CODL developed this template as a means to create a consistent learning environment and to encourage best practices for teaching online. It can be used in online, hybrid, or even web-enhanced face-to-face courses. This template is based on research of best practices in online learning and is heavily influenced by the Quality Matters rubric for online course review. When students access a course in Blackboard, they will begin here in the Announcements page. This page provides students easy access to all the announcements the instructor has made, beginning with the most recent at the top and the earliest at the bottom. You may also notice the Instructor Notes link above the Announcements link. This is a place hidden from students for instructors to make notes for future iterations of the course. For example, any changes they were, that were made in one iteration of the course that may need to be included in the future courses can be noted here. Now that we have the introductions out of the way, let's get started. The Getting Started page is an introduction to both you and your course. We start with a welcome video. It doesn't have to be long, but it's an important way for students to see who you are. It's nice for them to see you're a person and not just some robot grading their papers. Use this video to tell students anything you want them to know about you and the course, and then tell them where to go next. The CODL Media Production Studio can help you with all of your video needs from welcome videos to online lectures or even filming hands-on learning activities. Contact us and we will gladly help you create videos for your course. The course objectives are what you expect students to be able to accomplish upon completion of the course. These should be measurable statements using clear action verbs. Contact CODL if you would like help writing and developing objectives. Communication expectations is a spot for you to tell students how you prefer to be contacted, how long it will take you to respond, the days and times you can expect a response, any period of time you aren't available, and how long you expect graded assignments to be returned after submission. Next is an item that lists required tools and technologies for all courses developed by CODL. If your course uses other specific tools that are required, we can add them in here. Academic Resources and Services is a folder that contains links to academic resources such as AAAC, the KU Writing Center, and the libraries, as well as any information about KU's academic misconduct policy and how to conduct oneself in an online environment. The Reading Materials folder is an optional area to post any outside articles that will be found in the course. These articles will also be posted in the Lessons section in the week in which they should be read. Next is a link to a discussion board for students to introduce themselves. A template for these introductions is provided, but as the instructor, you can alter this template any way you may choose. Learner introductions help create a welcoming learning environment, make the course more inviting to students, and start to build a sense of community within the course. Finally, the Getting Started page provides instructions for the next step to follow for beginning the course. Below Getting Started is a link that provides easy access to the course syllabus and allows students to get to it from anywhere in the course. The Instructor Information tab is a place to create a contact card for the instructor. While only your email address is highly recommended, you can also include your phone number, your office number, your picture, and even a brief bio. Now it's time to move on to the part of the course that students will actually be working in. The Lessons area contains all the course content, usually in weekly modules. This area provides an easy-to-navigate course structure organized in a timeline with a table of contents for each module to keep students on track and keep them focused on exactly when to complete each task. It's helpful to include a lesson title, the dates for each lesson, and a list of topics covered in the description of each lesson. Now let's look inside one of these modules. Each lesson begins with a brief introduction. Although some instructors choose to omit this item and simply introduce the lesson in the description on the previous page. Next is a spot for lesson objectives and tasks. Similar to the course objectives, the lesson objectives are measurable statements using clear action verbs that explain what students will be able to accomplish after they complete each lesson. Once again, if you need any help with these, contact CODL and an instructional designer will be assigned to assist you. The task list will detail the specific activities the students will do in the lesson. For example, it may list a reading, a quiz, a discussion board, and a paper. Next is the actual course content. Everything listed in the task list for a lesson will be added as gradable course content below it. 
Currently, a placeholder called Instructional Materials is in that area. Finally, there's a Q&A discussion board to give students a chance to share any questions they may have with the whole class so the instructor or fellow students can answer them publicly. At this point, it is important to note that instructors and students see each lesson module differently. Right now, we're in instructor view. The instructor sees all the items in the lesson on one page that scrolls down. If you toggle the edit mode off, you can access student view. Students see the items in the lesson one page at a time. They can use the arrow buttons or the table of contents to navigate through the lesson. The next area of the template is the discussion board link. Each individual discussion will be added to its corresponding module in the lesson section, but this link in the sidebar allows students to easily access the discussion board when they return to it to respond to their peers. Lastly, the exams and papers content area is for instructors to provide information about large papers and any proctored exams that will need to be taken in person or with an online proctor, such as ProctorU. Thank you for going with me on this journey through the CODL online course template. Once you're ready to begin developing a course online at KU, contact CODL at 864-1000 or at onlinelearning at ku.edu, and an instructional designer will be assigned to work with you throughout the development process.